Good morning, everyone. All right. We're almost getting the room together. For those of you on the Zoom call, thank you so much for joining us. It should be a, a very fun-filled, informational day. And what I love about today is we get to celebrate something that's been a passion of so many of the team members here, which is making a difference in rare disease patients and patient community. And at Rocket, we do this by advancing science and potentially having gene therapy cures available for at least the disease we work on. But to us, this is just a gateway. If we can figure this out and share the knowledge with the industry, we can have hundreds of diseases that have treatment option. And to me, that's really exciting. Be before I kick off the day, I do want to take a minute to at least let the individuals on the Zoom call know today we are at this amazing, beautiful, thoughtfully made um, Make-A-Wish castle. It's actually a castle. It's gorgeous. You should absolutely Google it in Cranberry, New Jersey, Monroe, New Jersey. Um, we love the fact that we have been here and partnering with them to do the Rare Disease Day event here because the difference of Make-A-Wish Foundation is to give hope and strength to kids with critical diseases. And a lot of the diseases we work on at Rocket are also impacting life-threatening critical diseases for pediatrics. So my name is Kennery Patel. I'm the President and Chief Operating Officer. I've had the great pleasure to be with Rocket for over seven years and about 20 years working in the rare disease space. And I love the energy and the passion that comes together every day at Rocket with our scientists, with our academicians, with our physicians around the world. But especially today, we get to take a pause away from our day-to-day -day work and actually meet with patient, patient families, and learn and do things better. So thank you for being here. Oh, I have the clicker. There we go. Um, what we want to know and what we want those of you that are here and online to know is for rare diseases, today is a symbol of a day that you're not alone. There are people out there around the world thinking about you. And you know, the zebra philosophy that you learn in medical school, pharmacy school, right? Now, one day it should be a horse, right? With genetic testings available, we're gonna have to really work together, but I think we're already advancing the science and making the most of it. And what we wanna do is really make a difference. And somebody says, who makes a difference? Is it a big company, is it biotech, is it the scientist? Well, every single person can make a difference. That's what I've learned from my mom and grandma, right? If you have the strength, the will, and the passion, you can make a difference. And for us at Rocket, this is because we know there's a community waiting for us to help make a difference. So we wanna make sure we do the right thing and we do the things because rare disease patients should never feel alone. I know this because I have a cousin with a rare disease, right? Um, but sometimes people say rare disease, why is this important? It only impacts a few thousand patients. But actually in America, Rare disease is something that impacts about 200,000 patients in that year. But if you look at it, there are over 7,000 rare diseases out there. So approximately 30 plus million Americans and 300 plus million people around the world have rare diseases, right? And as much as I want to say every disease we work on have their unique challenges and science and et cetera, the, the few things that are foundational is 80% of them have genetic origin. So the gene of interest, the cell of interest, 80% of them have it, and more than 50%. More recent studies showed about 70% of it actually starts as early as kids, age of three, four, five. And that's devastating. I have a little one at home. I can't imagine, even when she's coughing and sneezing, I'm like, oh my God, what do I do, right? But if you have somebody that you love and care about that goes through this devastation and not even know why they have the disease they have, it's a challenge, and we, that's why we're here, to hopefully share information and make a difference. And why is this such a thing? I know people are like, timelines, urgency, what is this, right? We look at the top of the mountain. In 1983, fortunately, a mom, a rare disease patient mom, Abby Myers, and we had a wonderful chance two, three years ago to talk to her, three years ago, to talk to her and learn about her fight against rare disease for her son back in 1980. In 1983, she advocated and formed National Organization for Rare Disease and went to the Congress and every connection she had um, to change the regulations. So we have orphan drug regulations that promote innovations, right? Before that, less than five therapies were available. Now, how, do you guys want to guess how many are available? Uh, what, 30 plus, no, 40, 40 years later, how many therapies do you think are available out there for 7,000 diseases? 
everyone shy? Okay. So I'd love to say half of them have therapies, right? 40 years is a long, long time. And so many people working on it, talking about it. Well, unfortunately, only about 350 of these diseases have treatment options. So to me, that's a bucket with one or two drops in it, right? There is so much more we need to do. And there's a race against time. And when we talk about that, that's because patients sometimes takes five to seven years to even get a right diagnosis. You go to the doctor, your parents, and you might say, hey, I have this. And they're like, we don't know what it is. Maybe it's this, maybe it's that. The misdiagnosis, the, the ch chance to get the right diagnosis is a challenge number one we see. The second is once they have the disease known, you're Googling it, right? Dr. Google, what does this mean? And there's a lot of misinformation out there, or maybe there's not enough information, but you're trying to figure out who has the expertise. How can they help you get a treatment option? Is there a treatment option available? And so what we like to do is through our efforts here officially, but also through efforts that we have all over Europe and other places, is have resources put together, have patient advocates get connected to scientists that are working on things that we know of. And this way, our goal is at least in our lifespan, 40 more years, right? That 5% should at least change to 20%. I know you might think that's an ambitious goal. I think it's doable. We can all do this together. And the other goal that Rocket's been really focusing on this year is the next generation of scientists. We want to have this, in our lifespan, we're only going to make certain difference, in, no matter what we tried, right? So we need generations to focus on science, on advancement, and to really make gene therapies or any treatment option available for these diseases, and that's our goal. Through collaborations with patients, researchers, advocates, biotechs, health authorities around the world, we think we can actually do this. So our goal is simple. We partner with experts like you or just Nord, every patient advocacy groups and scientists. So we're asking you to raise awareness with us because we think the conversation needs to start by what is a rare disease? These beautiful colors, what do they mean, right? And that's a starting point. So as I said, our goal is education, STEM, awareness, more therapies available. And one of the ways we can get the conversation started beyond the scientists here on the call on Zoom in person is we started a campaign. A campaign was started. We took it to the next level in 2018 called Light of For Rare. So tonight, if you are around the world, anywhere from, you know, looking outside of Burj Khalifa to Rome to Madrid, right? Look at the major monuments around the world. Last year, we were able to work with all the patient organizations across Europe and US, and we had over 120 monuments and landmarks <laughs> and points of interest. I'll explain the point of interest. Light up for rare diseases. The first time we did this for Empire State Building in 2018, the outpouring of support and that we saw from places in New Zealand to India to other places where patients felt like for one day, that one minute, they had hope. They had hope that somebody cares and they had hope that people are talking about what's important to them. So our goal is to give hope. Just like at Make-A-Wish Foundation, our, their goal is to give hope to kids, right? We're doing the same thing. And when I say landmarks and other things, you know, don't be shy. We Last year, we lit up the Eagle Stadium and the Giant Stadium, right? And the bridges and tunnels going to New York City. So I one day, I think I want to have all of our Rocket team members' houses light up so the neighborhood can start talking about, what are you doing? It's not Christmas. What is this, right? <laughs> Get the conversation going in your neighborhood, in your town halls, everywhere. So tonight, um, if you're in New York City, NASDAQ Tower is going to actually take um, recognize Rare Disease Day around 4.30. There's a photo up opportunity. Go to Times Square, enjoy, take pictures, post it. Would love to see it. Um, Empire State will do the same thing. Niagara Falls is actually extended because so many people after last year's recommendation, re uh, the referral that Rocket did, now they said, hey, we're not doing five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes increments. A whole half hour, we're going to do this <laughs> and help people talk. So the goal is People look at the light and they'll Google, why is this so beautiful? Why is this so different today? And they'll learn about it.